National Geographic Explorer. The water's dangers don't end where the sea meets the land. Whether salt water or fresh, our nightmares rise from beneath the surface. In certain South American rivers, you'll find one of the most notorious of all aquatic animals, a carnivorous fish that, legend holds, can strip a body to the bone in seconds. To Ramon Albacus, who lives on the Orinoco River, this ravenous menace also makes for an easy catch. The red piranha. Ramon is also well aware of the piranha's hungry bite. I remember when I was 10 years old, very close to this area. I was out on the savanna with my mother. We came to a stream which we had to cross. But when I was halfway across, about three meters out, a piranha bit me here, just here. Another here on my side, then another on my leg here. Piranhas attack even when there is no blood in the water. They are attracted by vibrations. Many will tell you they don't attack people, but they do. I know, they attack me. Only in very rare cases will piranhas attack humans. And there's not a single recorded death. They're far more likely to be cannibals than man-eaters. Still, when the fish turn on each other in a feeding frenzy, the waters are no place for the unwary. The wetlands of South American rivers spawn other nightmares as well. An expert on reptiles built to the Orinoco Basin to study crocodiles. But the crocs aren't alone in the swamp. We'd been in the field for about eight weeks, and we decided to go hunting to make the table a bit more interesting. Eventually, we moved to the edge of a slow-moving stream uh, that fed into a large swamp. We carefully waded into the water. When we were able to approach the snake, I can just recall being absolutely stunned by the size of the animal. It certainly seemed as big around as maybe the waist of an average adult human. She made a mistake. Even at eight meters in length, she wouldn't have been large enough to have swallowed an adult human. Lamar and his companions had fallen into an ambush set by an anaconda the world's largest snake. The anaconda's natural prey are animals like these capybara. Snakes tend to touch our most primal fears. The combination of a snake and huge size probably excites our basic fears more than just about anything I can think of. <laughs> 